Hi, living in Boulder Vlog for August 13th, 2020. I'm, I'm not going to do on my ride, do my night ride, because it's, it's 4.55 in the morning, 4.56 in the morning. Sunrise is at like 6. We're only like a mile after, um, I mean, uh, um, I'm only an hour from the uh, sunrise, so it's not going to be a night ride anyway. It's just going to be like a morning ride, having not slept all night. So that's the equivalent, because, you know, say I got up, I think I woke up at like 3, say 3 yesterday in the afternoon. So then that means I've been up for 14 hours, and so that's the equivalent of somebody who gets up at 6 in the morning. That's there 8 o'clock in p.m. <laughs> So somebody like that wouldn't, after a full day of work, wouldn't go in on a 100-mile ride at 8 o'clock p.m. It's better to do it in the morning when you wake up and you have energy. So I bought, I bought two five-hour energies. <laughs> it says that you can, if you should take a half, but if you want a full energy, you take a full. But you should not exceed two a day, and uh, you should stagger them by um, hours, multiples of hours. So I'll, I just... <laughs> assume they meant say three hours apart so like I'll do a ride and maybe at the a few hours in I'll take one just just like at night if I get groggy or whatever I don't know but if I try like a big ride I don't know um try those just because you know I'm not I'm not in shape and I can get groggy anyway uh, you're not even legal in Ireland I saw some this YouTube video so what happened was um, Wyatt drug out, and after I make this video, I'm going to um, try to get my Twitch going. I, I haven't gotten around to that. I'm going to try that now, after the video. But the whole time, I've just been setting up my stuff. Um, I was cleaning my room and figuring out how to set my stuff, and then I noticed that my uh, my light had charged all the way, so I was like, all right, let's do this. So I got dressed, you know, and I put sunscreen on, I got completely dressed, <laughs> I've been put aero covers on my shoes, and I have my aero gloves on, even though they're too big, I order new ones, but, um, yeah, filled my bike up with all the water, and it was all ready to go, and had a big old mouthful of goo to get me going, because I wanted some food to get going, and, yeah, I was already got the bike, and I went out, and I was in the back of my mind, I was thinking... Um, oh, but my bike, it took me a while to get out, too, because my uh, bike light computer couldn't connect to the light. So that's what I'm going to try now, also. Um, I'm going to figure out, like, because maybe it got confused because I have two lights on there. I got two lights yesterday. And so um, I'll take it and look at it. But I'll do that tomorrow, actually. I'll do the Twitch stuff now. But um, so, uh, and it did eventually connect to the light. But it took forever, like 10 or 20, 15, 20 minutes or something. I was looking at it forever. <laughs> Never connected to the uh, the radar. I accidentally dipped the radar in water last night. Um, but it turned on, but it wouldn't connect. So hopefully it's not broken because it was like 200 bucks and I really wanted one. I loved how it worked. But um, I also have an, ex an extra light. I'm going to do a video of it whenever I get around to it uh, in the back. But um, I... Uh, it finally connected, you know, and it, and, it, and it likes to turn the light off, you know, before it connects. And so then I came down, but then it had disconnected again. Um, I think because I hit the, like, pause button or whatever, but it disconnected. So I was outside, and I hit it on manually, and it was like, I was like, all right, fine, I'll just write it manually until it connects. But then it turned off. And it's still thinking, thinking, thinking. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just ride out to the reservoir in the darkness. <laughs> and then when I get to the reservoir, I'll fiddle with it and try to get it to turn on again. <laughs> so, um, but, um, cause I figured maybe all it needed was time. Cause the thing was spinning around and that's how it started working in my, in my room. It was just sitting around looking at it for 15, 20 minutes. So, um, but then I got like a couple of feet down the road and um, my uh, 
my rear wheel was rubbing really bad, just like before, only this time it was obvious. It had nothing to do with the damn brakes. Um, my uh, water bottle, dude. Here, I'll show you. See the water bottle? It's rubbing. Water bottle rubs against the wheel, against the tire. Um, like, really bad. Like, I guess over time it was souping down or maybe it was being pushed down from my my uh, tube. I have my tube on the, on the, uh, here, I'll show. You can see my tube there um, under my seat. And then I have the patch kit also under the seat. It's tucked under there. And then the water bottle cage on there. Maybe it's pushing ever so slightly down on that. You see all that darkness? That's from the tire pushing against it. So, um, rubbing off. It's like tire rub off. Hopefully I didn't get too much through to have the water like seep through and have to buy another one. But, um, I, um, because when I bought the tire, when I bought the bike, they were like, oh, but those tires that it comes with, they're like, uh, it's the specialized, um, turbo cotton tires. And they go, um, those tires are like really expensive and their range isn't very far. And, um, and they're like, yeah, maybe you want to just get some training tires to throw on there. So I was like, all right, cool. So they put three training tires on there. And what happened was, um, <clears throat> the training tires were too big and they were rubbing against it. And that's what was making me like stop. It was making me lurch in the back, like towards the end of the ride, it got really bad. I was every step I took, pedal I took, it was like lurching forward. I was trying to make a light once. It was like, wasn't letting me. It's like applying brakes. It was like my bot water bottle was being the brake. But I thought it was the brake somehow, but. <laughs> so, no, but today I was doing it really, really bad. Like I could barely move and I was like, all right, wow, this is really bad. Cause when I looked at it last night or before, I was like, oh, that's really close. <laughs> it was like a millimeter, like two millimeters away. But I figured it, you know, they knew what they were doing, you know. Two millimeters, I guess, that's zero. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they put on these training tires that were too big. They're too big that you, they're only specced to the actual turbo cotton tires. Or tires small like that, not, not to training tires. And um, I guess they didn't know because this is a kind of a, the only bike that has uh, a water bottle like that. And, um... So I took the, t I came home and without taking any of my bike clothes off, I uh, took the, I put my bike up on the stand and I took those tires off and I put these new turbos on and, and then I started pumping the tire and I YouTubed because it doesn't say what the pressure should be. It said the pressure on my training tires should be like 85 to 95. And I think it was 120 on the tires on my on my road bike. And I pump it to 120 on my road bike. Maybe I shouldn't pump it that much because that's maybe that's what made me slip out. But um, um, um I I looked it up and it said uh, max pressure 125 on the turbo cotton. So I was like, oh wow, that's more than I've ever seen. 120 is usually the max I've ever seen usually on tires. Um, and, and then I read that, uh, they recommend 85 to 95. So, and I heard his triathletes say that they do it. There's at a hundred, but recommend 85 to 95. So then I'll just do mine at 95. But anyways, I was planning on doing mine to a hundred. So I was pumping it and I got it to about 95 cause I'm watching it, you know, I'm watching it grow up and it's like maybe 95 and boom. Like an explosion so loud it just popped and I looked at the tire and it had popped out it burst it was too much pressure for the damn tire at 95 so I, I was confused because it said it was good for 120 and those were the wheels that it, that it came with so um, and then I looked at the tire the tube inside and the tube says turbo cotton tube so it's a tube made for that tire and so, um, and it wasn't like cinched or anything. And as I was pumping it, I was pumping it slowly and I, and I heard the tube like cinch out, like adjust, you know, a little bit. I didn't like whack it. I didn't do it like 30 PSI and then push it with my tire and whack it, make sure all's adjusted. But 
I heard adjusting is fine and then it blew. So I don't know what the hell's wrong. Like, do I have a dud tire? That's sketchy because I don't want to crash and fucking die. But um, I imagine that'd be rough to crash when you're in aero position at like 40 miles an hour. And you can get up to 40 miles an hour real easy on that bike, like on downhills. But um, so I figured, so I guess the only way to fix it is to just try it on the front tire. Only this time, you know, adjust it, whack it, whack it, make sure it's adjusted. And then and then Google, I'm gonna Google right now and make sure that um, they recommend 85 and 95. So then I'll do it at 85 and I'll look at it and I'll, and I'll push it and I'll be like, okay. And then I'll do it up to 95, what they recommend because they say the max is 125. So I'll do it up to 95. And if it doesn't blow, then I'll do a ride at 95 and hopefully it won't blow on me. And, I'll, and then I'll do the, the rear, you know, I'll fix the flat on my tire. And then I'll do the rear tire at um, 95. And hopefully it won't, won't blow. And if it blows, I guess I'll just assume those are, those are dud tires. But those tires are $80 each. So that means I'd have to blow $160 just to get, just to get, to be able to ride my road bike if these things blow, at, at, you know, so that's fucked. Um, um, cause those are the only tires that I can use on them. Um, or at least that I know I can use. So, and oh yeah, cause when I pumped the tire up, I looked at it and the clearance was way more. The clearance was like a whole inch this time. So this, this tire is way like, like thinner than the other one. The other one's going way up. So, um, so yeah. Um, and then I immediately knew. Yeah, that's why. And I was excited. I was getting excited to ride these fast tires because I heard they're really fast. They're the fastest tires. But um, and then I googled also the range, and it says thirty five hundred. So I'm thinking to myself, thirty five hundred miles. That's that's a pretty good range. So I don't know what people are saying. This has a bad range. I could have sworn they said in the bike shop. Colorado multi-sport and that it was only like 250 mile range or something. I'm like, what? That's impossible for $160 tires. So they must not have said that, but, but yeah, 3,500 mile range. That's good enough for me. I can pay. Um, cause I ride on like lots of different ride bikes, not just this bike, but, um, so it'll take longer to go through it, but, um, but I guess, you know, that's like, 30, just 35 rides of 100 miles or like um, 16 miles, 16 rides, 17 rides of 200 miles. So I'd have to do the math, like how much that would be for a ride. Because you also have to pay for like a dollar for the um, each of the packets of the uh, electrolyte pack, packets or a dollar each. So And you do two of those. So there's two dollars just on electrolytes. And then the package is $5. The goo is $5. And, uh, I mean, $15. A goo that you would go through the whole thing in one 100-mile ride is 15 bucks. So then the ride, the bike, if it's only 35 that'd be like, what, 160 divided by 35 So that's like another $5 just in tire wear. Wow. And then, like, if you take a 24-hour, I mean, a 5-hour energy, another $4, you could blow... 20 bucks, I guess, in a ride. But I guess if you're covering all that mileage, it's less than a car. So, anyway. Um, um, yeah, I should uh, try to get sponsorship one of these days from the uh, the food <laughs> goo. Um, anyway. Um, um, so... Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I can't get go riding again because I don't want to blow the front tire and like wake up my neighbors again, because I'm sure they both of them heard that explosion, and they've both complained about me about noise, both above and below. 